Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you gave us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in Him, rooted in Him, and built upon Him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivate you with an empty, seductive philosophy according to the tradition of men according to the eternal powers of the world and not according to christ 
For in Him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in Him, who is the head of every principality and power. In Him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body with the circumcision of Christ. You were buried with Him in baptism, in which you were also raised with Him through faith in the power of God, who raised Him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, He brought you to life along with Him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the band against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross, despoiling the principalities and the powers. He made a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is compassionate toward all His works. The Lord is compassionate toward all His works. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is compassionate toward all His works. The Lord is gracious and merciful is low to anger and great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all His works. The Lord is compassionate toward all His works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is compassionate toward all His works. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him 
and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul, in our first reading today, begins with his words. Brothers and sisters, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in Him, rooted in Him, and build upon Him. This is a very good description of who a Christian is. A Christian is someone who accepted Jesus the Lord. A Christian is not just someone who was baptized. A Christian is someone who accepts Jesus as his Lord. Many are baptized but do not really accept Jesus as their Lord. A Christian is someone who receives Jesus. And because the Christian receives Jesus, then they walk with Him, they are rooted in Him, and they are built upon Him. That is also what discipleship is all about. Our gospel today is about the choosing of the twelve apostles of Jesus. And Jesus chose his twelve apostles, his closest collaborators, from among the many people who were following him, from his many disciples. The disciples were the ones who journeyed with Jesus, who listened to Jesus, who witnessed the many things that Jesus did. And from among these many disciples who were walking with him, Jesus chose the twelve and named them apostles. The word apostle came from the Greek word apostolos, which means a messenger, someone who is sent. But before Jesus sends the twelve, he sees to it that they are deeply rooted in him. No one would be sent as a missionary without first walking with Jesus, being rooted in Jesus, and being built upon Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the question is, have we also received Jesus? And are we walking with Jesus? Or maybe we could ask, who do we always walk with? Sino ba ang kasama natin sa ating paglalakbay sa buhay na ito? Sino ba ang palagi nating sinasabayan? Sino ba ang gustong gusto nating kasabay? Si Jesus ba? Are we rooted in Jesus? Do we have a deep relationship with Jesus? Nakaugat ba tayo kay Jesus? At malalim ba ang pagkakakapit natin kay Jesus? St. Paul in our first reading tells the Colossians to be rooted in Jesus because there were many empty and seductive philosophies prevalent during that time. They may they might easily be swayed by this false teaching. 
And so, St. Paul exhorts them, see to it that you are firmly grounded, you are rooted in Jesus. So that even in the presence of false teachings, you will not be easily carried away. Are we rooted in Jesus? So much so that even if there are strong winds, there are storms that pass our way, we are not easily swayed. We remain strong. Are we rooted in Jesus? So much so that even in the midst of this pandemic, we do not lose hope. We still believe. We still trust in God. And do we build our lives on Jesus? Is our life built upon Jesus? Do we grow and go forth from Jesus? My dear brothers and sisters, this is what being a true Christian really means. This is what a disciple of Jesus is. This is what being a follower of Jesus is. Walk with Jesus. Be rooted in Jesus. And build your life upon Jesus. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through the Pope and Bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That statesmen may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. Almighty God, as we make these prayers, we come to do your will. Accept us in your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously granted through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, 
and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, we will celebrate the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And as we celebrate this special day, the Manila Cathedral will be open tomorrow for masses and for private prayers. We will admit 10% of the sitting capacity for our masses tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning and 12.10 in the afternoon. And from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon, the Manila Cathedral will be open for private prayers. This will be only for tomorrow because uh, we are still finishing many works inside the Manila Cathedral. We shall make an announcement when we will officially open again for public celebration of Masses. And so tomorrow, those who wish to come may do so. Please uh, follow the health protocols. We should wear our face mask and face shield. And uh, we also invite you to use the staysafe.ph application so that as you enter the Manila Cathedral, you may present your QR code. But uh, our masses will continue to be live streamed for those who wish to stay in their own homes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon.